Good evening, everyone. And tonight's uh, free video, I want to just take a quick look at Apple. So today, Apple came out and said uh, record earnings. Uh, you know, sold uh, over three million iPads, several million iPhones. Uh, computer sales are still strong. Best quarter ever. Uh, like four point three million dollars profit, something like that. Um, did very, very, very well. And um, you know, it's not being reflective on this chart, and I don't know exactly why, but you can see here, in during the day, it came down, it poked below, and a lot of people were asking me, hey, what about this head and shoulders, what about this head and shoulders, and, you know, I was looking at it, but it held its own market, the news came out, or the economic uh, report came out, popped up to about 260, last I remember, 259, so it's still alive here. Again, remember that this thing has really been trading, if you omit the one day of that real big flash crash, it's really been trading in about a 30 to $35 range for the good part of three and a half months here. So it's not out of the question to anticipate that there's a, there's a decent chance that it may retest these levels again. Um, I'd looked, you know, being at 260, there's some resistance. If it can get through there, which it may do tomorrow, may gap up, expect it. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see it go here. And then from the real, the much bigger perspective, as I look at the, the monthly chart, which I sort of talked about a little bit today at the free webinar. I think this thing has a real shot at getting to that 1618 extension that we've been looking at. So we initially looked at from this low to this high, right? And remember, we had this uh, long entry here based on rules. And this is something we're going to be talking and teaching at the uh, at the two-day Fibonacci class at the uh, next week. So if you're interested in that, uh, check that out. But uh, we got long here. We had a first target, second target, and we talked about this in some previous videos. When we broke above here and moved to 250, it was about a 70% chance. We attained that. There was a flash crash, came right to support, popped back up. You can see we were been overbought twice here, but judging by the way this looks, at least for the moment, it really looks like it's going to try to continue to move up. Given that the news is there, it's possible. I'm not saying it will. Our next target is looking for a move to 320. So I got an email real quickly. I want I got an email a couple of days ago and someone said, well, why would you be giving yourself a $40 stop, right? Well, what sense does that make? And I just want to reiterate just for a moment the idea that we really trade based on rules here. See, the emotional trader will look at this and say, wait a second, $40 stop, why would you do such a thing? Keep in mind that we were in here right around 80 to 85 bucks, okay? We've gotten first target, we've gotten second target. We're locked, we're out of 75% of our position here, okay? What we're doing is we're trailing stops based on structure. We're, we're trailing stops based on our rules. It's sort of like when we had, uh, we were fortunate enough to have a long way back here, right? And we held on into a position when this happened, we were still, we, we trailed our stop below here and we were able to ride part of this move. We were stopped out at this point right here by being really aggressive. But the point is, is that we're not overly aggressive. We're not emotionally trailing our stops. And that's something that, you know, a lot of traders, including myself in the early days of my trading, had difficulty doing. So in regards to the question, why am I using a $40 stop? I'm really just using a stop based on this structure of this, of this flash crash here. The, the fact that it support that it it uh, respected that I'm keeping my stop below there because that's a structural structural stop. I'm out of I'm already out of 75 percent of my position. I've got locked in over hundred and twenty dollars of profit here. If this thing is going to keep on going, then I want to be in it. And by being in it and be and being able to possibly catch another seventy dollars to the upside here. That's going to mean that I need to not be overly aggressive with my trail stop. Okay, so I hope that helps. And again, we'll be discussing a lot more of how to properly trail stops and how to trade with rules. And you're going to learn a lot of these patterns that are in next week's uh, two day class. So uh, if you guys have questions, again, feel free to ask us Twitter, email, or uh, any other way you think you can reach us. Um, other than that, we'll see you guys at the next video update.